Good morning everybody, welcome back to Mod Life. It's a very horrible rainy day as you can probably see from the weather behind me outside. It's really nasty. Um, which kind of puts working on cars out for today. Um, or at least for this afternoon. So, I thought what I'd do is I'd share with you a new project which we've got coming. Um, I'm actually doing this for a friend of mine. Uh, I haven't got the car here so I can't show you the car. But I can show you the engine that's going to be going into it. And that is what we've got. Most of you will recognise this. It's a 1.6 16 valve 4AG Toyota engine. Um, rear wheel drive set up this one. Got the gearbox over here. We'll Standard 5 speed T50. Um, and this is going to be going into. I'll tell you what, I'm going to keep the car a surprise for now because the car is actually really, really nice. It's not like majorly special, but it is clean, it is good, and I can't wait to be working on it personally. I think it's going to be a great little project. Um, so we're going to keep that a secret. What I will tell you, it's a Toyota, it's from the 70s and it's rear wheel drive. But it is lacking punch, so that is basically where this thing comes in. This is going to provide a little bit more juice for the project. Now, it's fair to say this is in pretty, oh, well yeah, rough shape, I mean. I have actually gone over this a little bit just to try and get some of the loose flaky paint off because it was falling off everywhere. Um, and that wasn't quite that shiny either. I've gone over that with a, a wire brush and kind of see the difference there. Just really to try and get some of the crud off. And you can see down in here it's it's pretty dirty, pretty grimy. Um, apparently it was a runner. Um, I didn't source the engine, this was obviously Keithy found it. I also went just around the inside of the, the cam gear there. You can see the difference. And that was literally just a couple of minutes just to see how bad they were underneath. Um, I'm just going to grab a light. <coughs> I'll show you my, my main beef with this. Maybe you can even see down in there. But just the amount of crap that's built up around the spark plugs um, before I actually took the HT leads off when the HT leads were in you can kind of see that they sort of form a seal around there anyway and this area in here was absolutely full of shit so I managed to get most of that out with the compressor and some brake cleaner so basically today's mission is going to be really, really simple, really straightforward. Get all that crap out, get the spark plugs out, do a compression test on the engine, and make sure it's good, um, and we'll go from there. I have turned it over by hand, it does sound like it's making compression. Um, turns over freely, you know, you've resistance when you expect to feel resistance when you're getting compression, so I'm hopeful. However, Keith, I don't know if I told you this already, but basically, I'm pretty sure we've got one weak cylinder. You can kind of hear it. It, 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 it's strange. Anyone who knows when they turn the engine by hand and the spark plugs out, you're not going to get any compression. Um, but when you've got them in, obviously, and you can hear it charging up, yeah, it sounds like one of them's weak, but we'll see. We will find out. Um, so, yeah, first things first, we're going to go ahead and try and clean all this crap out. Basically all I've done there is uh, just use some brake cleaner, spray it down inside. You've probably seen what I've been doing. Um, try and just scrape out all the little bits of crap which accumulate around the bottom of the spark plug. Um, now I'm going to spray all of the crap out, hopefully. And try not to get covered in muck this time. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's much better. <clears throat> yeah, basically, I was struggling to get down into that. There's obviously not a lot of room between the spark plug and, uh, and the hole where it goes into. Um, screwdriver wouldn't really go in there enough. But what I did is I just took a bit of an old area, which I literally just found lying around, flattened out the end, put a bit of curve on it, scoops around it nicely, seems to have done the trick. So uh, let's get the spark plugs out. Time to take one of the can covers off and just have a quick peek underneath there. Now, from what I saw from inside the pistons, they, uh, I'm not very impressed at the minute. Again, a little bit concerned about that compression test, and a bit reluctant to uh, to believe that 100% at the moment. Um, but we'll see. There for a moment. Couple of little gentle taps with a rubber mallet should free it up. Said should. I might need to. Just give it a little bit of a screw, but someone's obviously done this before already as well. Oh yeah, they made sure they put enough sealant on it to stop it ever coming up. Okay, so we have definitely got a leak in compression. Um, you can hear it. Uh, I don't think the camera's going to pick it up, so there's no point me bringing you over here. Um, bugger. So obviously inside the valve train, I can hear it just sort of seeping past the valves. I believe again it is across all of them. <coughs> um, rather than sort of get that build up and then that release as the valve lifts. Arse. We're only going to be doing a full rebuild on this, so I'm not too fussed about anything at the moment because we're going to fix everything, but it would be nice just to know that we had a good, strong, healthy engine start. take the other side off and have a look at that as well. So 
Same story. If you're doing this at home, by the way, um, and you are just taking it off to have a look and you're going to put it back together again, don't use a screwdriver because you will actually damage the gasket underneath. Um, just persevere. We're not really fussed about the gasket because I said we're doing a full rebuild on this. Just tap it, it'll be very hard, just nice and gentle. It'll find its route. Right, basically, that's it for today. It's too wet, it's too windy, the rain is blowing in through the door and I just can't be dealing with it. And if I close the door, the lights in there aren't working very well, I've got a couple of bulbs, a couple of bulbs out. So I can't really see in there. Um, and you can probably see, it's not a nice day. Um, long and short of it is, I'm going to come back tomorrow and I'm actually going to bolt the gearbox and the starter motor and everything back up to that engine. Um, just so I can whiz it over on the starter motor and see if we can get any different results from the compression tester. Because um, what's really weird about the compression test that we've done there uh, isn't necessarily that everything's low, which is obviously not good. Um, but also the fact that the cylinders weren't that far apart. The deviation between the cylinders was actually really good and well within spec. We had two at 60, one at 50, one at maybe sort of 45, which is 10 to 15 PSI between the cylinders. I can live with that. Um, actually, I, I can't really live with that, to be honest. We're gonna strip that engine down anyway, regardless of whether it needed it or not. Um, it's going into a car. It's not going to be a show car, but it's definitely a car that, especially the owner, wants to look really nice and presentable and doesn't want it just looking like most of the stuff we, we've we managed to churn out recently where it's just been quick, bang it in and get it ready to go. Um, I promise you, if you have been watching the RAV4, we are going to be taking that engine back out and making it look all pretty. Um, but for that, for this episode, that's going to be it. We'll be back maybe tomorrow. I might be a bit busy tomorrow. I might be able to make it down here, but the next episode on the mystery project will be the engine and it will be hooking it up and getting a different compression tester reading to see where we go from there um other than that thanks for watching if you like what you see make sure you subscribe give the video a thumbs up got anything you want to say any comments leave them in the comment section below thanks very much i'll see you on the next one safe